Let's begin at the start of your day. Here are some gentle stretches you can do in bed that will leave you refreshed and raring to go. First, align your spine for proper posture. While lying down, bend your knees and raise your arms back over your head and inhale. You'll feel this in your shoulders, neck, and upper back. To exhale, pull in your lower abdominal muscles while gently pressing your spine against the bed. This lengthens your spine. At the same time, stretch your arms and reach hard for the head of the bed. Feel the stretch in your arms and upper body. Relax, then repeat four times. Next, limber up your neck. Rest your head on the bed with either a very thin pillow or none at all. Then roll your head gently from side to side, five to 15 times. As you roll, keep your neck muscles relaxed and take deep, regular breaths in time with your head movements. Now let's get your arms moving. With your knees bent, put your hands on your chest. As you inhale, raise one arm and stretch it toward the ceiling, lifting your shoulder off the bed. Keep your head down. Exhale and return your hand to your chest. Repeat with the other arm and then repeat with both arms. Repeat the sequence four times. Holding your arms above your chest, grasp each arm just above the elbow. Without moving the rest of your upper body, roll your shoulders and try to touch one of your elbows to the side of the bed. Repeat on the other side. Start out with 10 repetitions, then gradually work up to 30. To loosen up, place your hands together in a traditional praying position. Then gently press your palms together. Relax and repeat five times. Next, imagine you've been working in the garden and your hands are very dirty. Wash them by rubbing your hands and wrists vigorously for a minute or so. Then limber up your feet by pulling one knee at a time to your chest and moving your feet in circles. Here's another way to enhance your wake-up routine and to get rid of sinus pain. Try a little gravity to clear your head. Hang your head over the edge of the bed for three to five minutes before getting up in the morning or any time the pressure gets to be too much. This will help your sinuses drain. But don't leave clogged sinuses to gravity alone. To help relieve and perhaps prevent sinus pain, try acupressure, an Eastern healing method. Use the tip of your index finger, your middle finger, or both side by side to press an acupressure point. You'll know you've located a point because it will be a little bit more tender than the surrounding area. Apply pressure for a few seconds and repeat several times. Press the points at the inside edge of each eyebrow for several minutes a few times a day. This is more than an immediate treatment. You should notice a consistent relief within a couple of weeks. Two more acupressure points are located under the pupil of each eye, right under the lower rim of the eye socket. Next, apply acupressure to the two points on the side of your nose to clear sinuses. This acupressure technique may be especially helpful after you've been exposed to pollens, smoke, or other irritants. Physical activity can help too. Besides increasing the blood supply in your nostrils, exercise also works as a natural decongestant. The best kinds of exercise may be the slow, stretching movements of yoga and things like brisk walking and bicycling. Rejuvenate your face and erase the stresses of the day with this instant facelift. Start by locating the two points at your hairline directly above your eyes. Using steady pressure, massage these points for about 60 seconds. Keep your forehead relaxed as you try to make little circles with your fingertips. Next, find the points that are midway between your hairline and the top of your eyebrows. Massage them for about a minute, keeping your brow unfurrowed. If your fingers get tired, use your knuckles. Now place your thumbs against the inside of your eye sockets next to your nose. Using the pads of your thumbs, press gently but firmly against the bone. Be careful if you have long fingernails and don't apply pressure against your eyes. Time to go to work on your eyes. 
Again, using your fingertips, press and massage the two points found at the outside ends of your eyebrows. To further smooth the skin around the eyes, lightly massage the acupressure points at the outer edge of your eyes. Massage gently using firm fingertip pressure and again be careful not to press against the eyes themselves. Still firming the area around your eyes, feel for the dip in each cheekbone immediately below each eye. Massage these points to shrink bags under your eyes. Look at the rest of your face. Plump up a complexion that looks tired by massaging the points located immediately below your eyes and even with your nostrils. Massage for one minute. Use your knuckles to massage the depression found on your upper lip just below your nose, making tiny, soft circles. Next, smooth out the corners of your mouth. Slide your fingers about half an inch from the corners and massage the sensitive points in tiny circles. If your chin is developing tiny wrinkles, take special care to massage it. Make tiny circles using pressure on the point halfway between your bottom lip and the tip of your chin. To restore the overall glow of youth, massage the large facial muscle just in front of your ears. To find it more easily, open your mouth a little. Then massage the spots found just below each corner of your mouth. Firm pressure applied in a clockwise direction will further smooth your skin. Acupressure can help smooth the neck areas too. Find your Adam's apple and very gently massage the points on both sides of your windpipe. If you feel any discomfort, you're pressing too hard. Then ease the pathway of energy to your face and neck by using your fingertip or knuckle to massage the acupressure point in the center of your collarbone. Massage in small circles. Now finish your facelift with an old-fashioned but effective home remedy that stimulates blood flow. Thrust your chin forward and using the back of your hand, slap the underside of your chin. Repeat about 40 times. For results you can see, massage once a day for the first 30 days and then two or three times a week. Spend a minute on each pressure point and use firm pressure, but not enough to cause discomfort. And here's something important. When you're finished with the routine, sit quietly for a few minutes. Relax and let the good feeling wash over you. Relaxation, when combined with gentle exercise, can help us cope with just about anything. It's especially effective for monthly menstrual cramps. Yoga postures are one possibility. Start out with the child pose. Sit on your heels with your arms relaxed at your sides. Bend over until your forehead touches the floor, making sure your spine is stretched out. If you can't reach the floor, only go as far as you can. Totally relax your body. Close your eyes while breathing slowly and deeply for about a minute, or as long as you're comfortable. This stretches the lower part of the spine. You'll feel it in the tailbone. Next is a posture that not only helps cramps, but also helps eliminate the irritability and anxiety of premenstrual syndrome. Lie on your back with your arms and legs spread eagled. Relax your body and close your eyes. Very slowly, inhale and exhale. Do this for a minute or two, or as long as you're comfortable. Follow this with a few simple moves that will help banish menstrual cramps. Sit halfway back on a sturdy chair with your legs stretched out. Your knees should be slightly bent and your feet flat on the floor. With your arms relaxed, lean back until your back touches the chair. Now inhale deeply as you stretch your arms out in front of you at chest height. Using your abdominal muscles, pull yourself up so that you're sitting straight. Hold for a slow count of three, then gradually lower yourself back as you exhale. Relax a moment, stretching your fingers and rolling your shoulders, then repeat. Work up to 10 repetitions. For a slightly different stretch, sit halfway back on a chair with your feet apart so that they're parallel to the chair legs. Rest your hands on your thighs just above your knees. 
Make sure your fingers are pointing inward. Lean forward, keeping your back straight with your chest lifted and head up. Inhale deeply through your nose. Purse your lips and exhale forcefully, pulling in your abdominal muscles as much as possible and letting your back round. Hold for three seconds and release. Next, stand with your back and heels against a wall. Inhale and bend your knees, at the same time tucking in your buttocks and pulling in your abdominal muscles to flatten your lower back against the wall. Contract your muscles strongly as you hold this position for a count of five while exhaling. Increase your holding time as you are able. Then inhale as you straighten your knees and arch your back. As you exhale, alternate from a flat back to an arched back position. Begin with five repetitions and work up to ten. Don't do this exercise if it causes back pain. Nobody wants varicose veins, and exercise is a good way to make sure you never get them. While exercise won't get rid of the ones you might have, it can help stop them from getting worse. Here are some home remedies to strengthen the muscles of the calves, thighs, and buttocks and get your blood pumping. Do these daily in the order suggested. First, sit on the floor and extend your legs in front of you, supporting yourself with your arms. Don't round your back. If this is uncomfortable, do it on a step. Bend the knee of one of your legs and place the foot flat on the floor next to your other knee. Flex your other foot so that the toe points to the ceiling. Raise your other leg without bending the knee. Slowly lower it until it almost touches the floor. Repeat 10 to 15 times. Reverse your position and exercise the other leg in the same way 10 to 15 times. Repeat the full sequence again. The half squat is next and will really get the blood pumping. But if you have bad knees, you might want to skip this one. Stand with your feet about a foot apart, toes pointing slightly outward. Hold your arms out straight. As you exercise, keep your eyes focused on your fingertips. Bend your knees slowly, keeping your head and back straight. Lower your body and hold for a second, but don't let your buttocks sink lower than your knees. Slowly return to an upright position. Repeat 15 to 20 times. When this becomes easy, add more repetitions. Next, lie on your side with your arm extended and your head on your shoulder. Extend your legs and keep them straight. Now place your foot on the floor in front of your knee and grasp your ankle. Flex your other foot and lift it toward the ceiling. You won't be able to raise it far. Lower it slightly, then raise it again for a total of 10 to 15 times. You'll feel this in your inner thigh. Stay on that side and place both palms flat on the floor. One palm should be directly in front of your chest for support. Now bend your bottom leg for support and straighten your top leg out in front of you at a 90 degree angle from your body. Flex the top foot and lift it toward the ceiling. Slowly lower it without touching the floor. Repeat 10 to 15 times. Using a sturdy chair or wall rail for support, stand with your legs wide apart. The wider the better. Bend your knees and sink as low as you can, but don't let your buttocks drop lower than your knees. Keep your back straight. While in this squat, raise your heels as high as you can. Hold, then bring your heels to the floor. Repeat 15 to 20 times. While these techniques are great for varicose veins, remember that the best thing you can do is walk. Walking strengthens the muscles in your legs and moves the blood more quickly through the body, preventing it from pooling in your legs. If you have large varicose veins, physicians recommend that you wear elastic stockings while exercising. When your mother told you to stand up straight, she knew what she was talking about. Good posture makes for a graceful, taller, even slimmer looking you. It also minimizes back strain, relieves muscle tension, and can improve your breathing. Let's take a look at these home remedies for perfect posture that you can use for standing and for sitting. Imagine that your head is suspended from the ceiling by a thread. Picture a straight line that runs down your spine from that point. By using it as a guide to align yourself, your head will be erect, your shoulders will be back and relaxed, and your buttocks will be tucked in. It may take some practice to get this posture-perfect look. 
Start by balancing a folded towel on the top of your head. There are a few things you'll notice right away. You'll be forced to relax your shoulders, hold your head high, and bend without straining. Try the towel trick for a few minutes each day as you go about your normal routine. You can also improve your posture through this set of exercises designed to strengthen your upper back and shoulders. Sitting on a sturdy, armless chair, hold on to the ends of a resistance band or a very strong, large, elastic band. Extend your arms out in front of you at chest height and stretch. Make sure your elbows are slightly bent and your wrists are extended straight out. Hold for six seconds. Move your arms apart and together again, slowly, and repeat. Do this six times. Next, bend your elbows 90 degrees and hold them into your sides. Hold the ends of the resistance band with your palms up and stretch the band. Hold for six seconds, then return to the starting position and repeat six times. Reposition yourself on the chair so that one hand can be extended below the seat level. With one hand between your thighs, raise the other hand up to stretch the band and hold. Lower your arm and repeat. Then reverse hands and repeat the sequence. Do this next exercise standing with your back against a wall. Your feet should be 12 inches apart and 12 inches away from the wall. Breathe deeply through your nose so that your stomach moves in and out with each breath and maintain this deep breathing throughout the exercise. Keep your arms straight and press the backs of your hands against the wall. Tilt your pelvis forward so that your lower back is flat against the wall. Then slowly slide down the wall as you bend your knees and hold for six seconds. Now straighten your knees and repeat. Do three sets of six repetitions. Back pain is a big problem for many of us. We lug heavy groceries, briefcases, shoulder bags, and children. But these aches aren't inevitable. Here are home remedies to prevent them and ease the pain. Remember, when doing any kind of back stretching exercise, come out of position carefully. Slowly unwind your spine. Or if you're lying on the floor, first roll over to your side, then push up to a sitting position with your arms. This first technique is called the pelvic tilt, and it's a fundamental exercise in correcting a major cause of low back pain. Try to maintain the tilt while doing the routines that follow. Lie on your back. As you exhale, pull in your abdominal muscles as you press your lower back to the floor. To do this, you'll need to tighten your buttocks and rotate your hips slightly upward. You can also do the pelvic tilt while standing. Pull in your abdomen and tighten your buttocks as you press your lower back into an imaginary wall. Your knees will bend slightly. Sitting squarely on a chair, spread your feet apart so they're parallel to the chair legs. Keeping your back straight, lean forward with your upper body as far as you can and allow your back to relax. Hold for a few seconds. Don't lean forward past the point of discomfort. This exercise will help even if you can lean only halfway. Next, sit with your left ankle resting on your right knee. Hold on to your ankle with your left hand while holding onto the chair with your other hand. Keeping your back straight, slowly lean forward from the hips, feeling a deep stretch in your left hip. Stretch only as far as it's comfortable. Hold for a few seconds and then sit upright slowly walking your hands up your legs. Switch legs and repeat the exercise. Back on the floor, lie down, maintaining the pelvic tilt. Keeping one leg slightly bent, bring the other knee gently toward your chest as far as you can without pain. Grasp the leg tightly, either above or below the knee. Hold, then repeat with the other leg.
Now bring both knees toward your chest in the same manner and hold. Still on your back, lift one leg, keeping the knee bent. Then slowly straighten your knee. Continue until you feel a stretch in the back of your thigh. Hold the position for several seconds and then repeat the stretch with the other leg. You can also do this stretch standing up. Prop one heel on a chair or stool that's about knee high. Lean forward, keeping your knees bent and back straight until you feel the stretch in the back of your thigh. Hold and repeat on the other side. For a different body stretch, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, and your hands behind your ears. Bend slightly forward and to the side. Be sure not to twist or arch your back. Repeat the stretch on the other side. You can also do this exercise with one hand on the hip of the side you're bending. As you bend, raise the opposite hand over your head with the palm facing down. Repeat on the other side. Next, stand with your side about 12 inches from a wall. Bend your elbow 90 degrees and rest your forearm against the wall. Keeping your feet together, place your other hand on your other side, just below your waist. Lean your shoulder and hip against the wall. You should feel a stretch in the side of your lower back that's next to the wall. Relax into the stretch for as long as it's comfortable. Then repeat, leaning your other side into the wall. Get on your back again. Lie with your knees bent and your legs together, stretching your arms out to the sides. Keep your knees together and slowly drop them to the left side, keeping your shoulders flat. Hold, then bring your knees back to the starting position. Repeat on the opposite side. If your knees don't reach the floor on your first try, work slowly through the exercise until they do. When the movement becomes very easy, add a twist to the set. Bend your knee and drop it over the other leg, trying to bring it all the way to the floor. Keep both shoulders flat. Repeat on the other side. Here's an exercise that's really great for the back. Lie on your stomach with your arms at your sides, palms facing up. Lift your head and shoulders without arching your neck off the floor as you exhale. Don't strain. Hold for 10 seconds, but make sure you keep breathing. Then bring your face slowly to the floor. Inhale. Now turn your head toward your shoulder as you lift that shoulder off the floor. Keep your hips flat and don't strain. Hold for 10 seconds and lower your shoulder. Repeat on the other side. Still on your stomach and with your knees bent 90 degrees, lift one hip a few inches off the floor, keeping the thigh in line with the hip. Don't strain. Hold. Lower and repeat with the other hip. Next, bend your knee. Keep your hips flat as you lift your knee off the floor as high as you can. Repeat on the other side. For this home remedy, roll over onto your back and maintain the pelvic tilt. Bend your knees. Lift one foot about six inches off the floor and then lower it slowly. Repeat with the other leg. To make this exercise more challenging, extend your leg before lowering each foot to the floor. Finally, try these curls. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your arms extended between your thighs. Lift your head and curl your upper body just enough to lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Hold, then lower your upper body slowly to the floor. You can make this a little more difficult by holding your hands at the side of your head. As you curl your upper body, don't pull your head forward, but let it come up naturally.
Now put your feet together and cross your arms over your chest. Twist your right shoulder toward your left hip as you curl. Hold this position. Repeat, twisting to the other side. Do your neck and shoulders hurt or feel tight? It's not surprising. The stresses of everyday life commonly end up as neck or shoulder pain. You can ease it away easily with these home remedies. First thing to remember is to take frequent stretching breaks throughout the day. Move your neck and shoulders around and keep an eye on your posture. Standing or sitting incorrectly adds a lot of stress to these areas. To help loosen tight shoulder muscles, lie on the floor with your hands clasped behind your head and your elbows touching the floor. Slowly try to bring your elbows together above your head. Hold for six seconds and then return to starting position. Repeat three times. Limber your neck muscles by standing with your arms outstretched, your palms facing upward, and your head bowed. Now roll your head slowly to one side, ending up face forward with your ear tilted as far as possible toward your shoulder. Hold briefly, then roll your head back to starting position. Now roll to the opposite side and hold briefly. Repeat two more times. Sit in a straight back chair and clasp your hands behind your head. Stretch your elbows back, pressing on your hands slightly with your head. Hold for six seconds. Now bring your elbows forward and down and bend your head forward. Hold for six seconds, then return to start. Be careful not to stretch too far in either direction, just enough to feel the muscles relaxing. Repeat three times. Stand up and bend your elbows, placing your hands on either side of your shoulders. Bend your knees slightly and lean forward with your whole body, trying to bring your elbows together. Hold for six seconds and return to your starting position. Repeat three times. You can also do this exercise standing in a doorway or a corner using the walls for support. Find some sort of stick, a mop, broom handle, or cane for this next relaxing stretch. Either sitting or standing, hold the stick horizontally in front of your body with your elbows bent. Slowly raise the stick over your head, then lower it down behind your neck as far as you can. Go all the way to your shoulders if possible and hold for six seconds. Return to the starting position and repeat three times. Feeling a lot of stress at work? If so, here are a few surefire home remedies that you can do at your desk or anywhere to boost creativity and clear your mind. Sit straight, intertwine your fingers, and raise your arms overhead, palms up. Press your hands upward. Lean first to one side and then to the other while continuing to stretch. Now try the elbow stretch. Bend both elbows. Press one above you and the other behind you. Hold, then switch arms. Move on to your stiff shoulders. Put your arms behind your back and intertwine your fingers. Raise your arms until you feel the stretch in your chest, shoulders, and arms. Hold for 30 seconds. Next, clasp your hands behind your head and push the palms of your hands together. You should feel the effect in your chest and upper back muscles. Hold for 30 seconds. If you suffer from writer's cramp, there's an easy way to get relief. Put a thick rubber band around the first joint of the fingers on the cramped hand, then open and close your fingers, stretching the band as far as possible. Continue the movement for 10 seconds. If you've been sitting in one position too long, you can relax your back with this stretch. Spread your feet on either side of your chair, then lean over and grasp your ankles, letting your upper body sink between your knees. Slowly bend to one side, trying to touch your ear to your knee. Then raise your arms sideways over your head and hold for 10 seconds. Repeat on the other side. Next, stand up. Press your palms against your lower back for support. Now arch gently up and back. Hold the position for just a moment, then release. Here's a simple yoga posture called the twist that can help stretch and relax the buttock muscles which help support the back. Place your foot on a stool or chair. 
Keeping the other leg straight, exhale and slowly rotate your upper body so that your opposite shoulder moves toward your bent knee. Repeat on the other side. To perform the twist while seated on the floor, face forward and cross your right leg over your left knee, then hook your left arm over your right knee. Exhale as you slowly turn your upper body to the right. This stretches your entire spine. Repeat on the other side. When your head's pounding, the last thing you feel like is physical activity, but it can actually be the best thing for you. These home remedies can relieve the pain of a tension headache, but are not recommended for those with a migraine. First, drop your head slowly forward so your chin touches your chest, keeping your mouth closed. Lift your head and repeat five or six times. Next, bend your head to the right, easing your right ear toward your right shoulder. Keeping your shoulders relaxed, bend your head toward the other side. Again, repeat five or six times. Next, slowly turn your head first to the left and then to the right so that your chin is positioned over your shoulder. Repeat five or six times. Next, lie on your stomach and raise your head and shoulders five or six times. Another good way to keep headaches at bay is to massage your scalp daily. Use a good natural bristle hairbrush or plastic brush with rounded tip bristles. Start at your temples and move the brush in half inch circles working your way down. Brush both sides in this manner. Then bring the brush just right of the center of your scalp and work down in half inch circles. Finish by brushing this area. Again, brush both sides in this manner. Another way to relieve a headache in the making is with acupressure. Experiment with specific headache points to see which work best for you. One caution, in the beginning these points may be very tender, so start gently. Don't press hard enough to hurt yourself. Start with the back of your head. Bring your fingers level with your earlobes and feel for two bumps. Then lower your fingertips about an inch until they are just under the bumps. Rock your head back until you feel the muscles relax. You can either pull your elbows forward and vigorously massage this area with your fingertips or pull your elbows back and use your thumbs. Now find the center of your head in line with your ears. Press firmly on that spot using a circular motion. Going to the side of your head, bring your finger in front of the upper part of the ear and feel for the depression in front of the jaw muscle attachment. Press gently for 20 seconds. Next, feel for a depression in the skull in line with your eyebrows. Use your middle fingers to press firmly using a circular motion. Now work the sinus area. One sinus point is located between the eyebrows. The other two are located on each side of the nose alongside the nostrils. Press gently for 20 seconds. Other parts of the body respond to acupressure for headache relief. Press the heel of your right hand on your left collarbone so that your thumb presses against your neck. Curve your fingers over your shoulder and place the tip of your middle finger over the shoulder point. Press in deeply as you vibrate your fingers rapidly. Work your hands as well. Find the pressure point by stretching the thumb away from the other fingers until you can see the web of skin. Now place your other thumb into that bony triangle between the thumb and index finger. The point you want to press is on the bone of the index finger. Though they're as far away from your head as you can get, pressure points on your legs, feet, and ankles can also provide headache relief. On the top of your feet, find the depression between the first and second toes. Bring your finger about an inch above the web between the toes and press for about 20 seconds. Apply pressure to the Achilles tendon. To find this next point, feel for the depression behind the ankle bone on the outside of your leg. Reach around the right leg and use your middle finger to press. Now place your finger on the outside of your kneecap, then slide it down another inch and press for 20 seconds. 
If you do close work, a lot of reading, or sit at your computer screen all day, you know what eye strain is all about. As with headaches, pressure often provides relief. Sit in a comfortable position, your elbows resting on a table or in your lap. Rub your hands together briskly and form the palms into hollow cups. Then place your palms over your eyes, gently lifting the weight of your eyebrows from your eyes. The bony part of your hand above your wrist should rest on your cheekbones. Don't place any pressure on the eyeballs themselves. Open your eyes briefly to make sure they're enveloped in darkness. Then close your eyes and visualize pleasant, relaxing scenes. Try this for about 15 minutes once a day or as often as you need relief. To prevent eye strain, do the following technique first thing in the morning and once again in the evening. Lean your elbows on a table and allow your head to fall forward very slightly. The weight of your head will supply some pressure of its own. Being careful to keep your fingernails away from your eyes, press on each of the points until you feel a heavy sensation around it, or for about 10 seconds. Place your thumbs just under the inside edge of your eyebrows while your elbows are resting on a table. Massage in one direction. Next, place the thumb and index finger of your hand at the inner corners of your eyes. Massage upward and then downward. Place your middle and index fingers just to the sides of your nose. Lift your middle fingers and massage with your index fingers. Now place your thumbs on your temples and use the side of your index finger to rub the points outward, first over your eyes and then under. If you're sick and tired of feeling tired, try these simple techniques which have been proven to energize and refresh. They all incorporate the gentle movements of yoga. While performing these exercises, remember to breathe evenly and keep your knees slightly bent. Avoid any sudden movements, and if you feel pain, stop immediately. Stand up straight with your feet shoulder width apart and your hands on your hips. Train your eyes on a spot straight ahead. Slowly rotate your hips in a full circle 10 times and then rotate them in the opposite direction. Be sure to keep your hands on your hips and your feet in place. Repeat 10 times in each direction. Next, put your hands on your shoulders and slowly rotate your arms 10 times so your elbows make small circles in the air. Repeat 10 times in the opposite direction. Now stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Slowly raise your arms to shoulder level with your palms facing up. Rotate your palms forward down and back 10 times so that your hands make small circles. Do it in the opposite direction. Repeat 10 times in each direction. In the same position, begin with small circles and with each rotation make the circles larger until both shoulder sockets rotate. Repeat in the opposite direction. You may want to skip this exercise if you have knee problems. Stand up straight with your knees touching each other, your feet close together, and your toes facing forward. Crouch over and put your hands on your knees. Now circle your knees 10 times in a clockwise direction, then repeat the circles counterclockwise. Experiment with making the circles a little larger. Use these home remedies for women every day or whenever you feel the tensions mount. It's the best way to boost your energy, rejuvenate your life, and get control of your health.